go live. Go I was going to sit there. Never mind. Are you sit that side? <laughs> That's all right. We're live. I'm standing up still. <laughs> but Hello. it's fine. Everybody knows who we are. Oh, look, you're even walking past the screen on that. Right. I'm just going to take a seat here um, at the table. If you look confused, Charlie, because there's a slight delay. There is a delay. Yes, yeah. So never mind. Um, we're just going to be talking to you guys now. I have just been getting my ass handed to me by Charlie, that SPQR. After I had mine handed to me by you <laughs> in the first game. So yeah. at the moment, it's 50-50. It's one each. It we're going to settle the score right now. <laughs> yes, we are. Maybe someone's very keen to go. <laughs> uh, but before we, we do get cracking on, where's my hero going? He's over in the corner there. You've left him out by himself. He's stranded. I'll grab him in a minute. Before we get going, we just wanted to tell you that we're playing SPQR. Yeah, um, so new um, warband skirmish game from War of Games, uh, set in the ancient period, so Bronze Era, so you're talking Romans, uh, Greeks, Celts, whether they be uh, from Gaul, from Britain, uh, so on and so forth. Uh, loads of factions. There's 12 or so factions in the course, in, in the core rulebook, uh, but the starter set is Gauls versus Caesarian Romans, which is pretty much what we've got on the board here, uh, plus or minus a couple of bits. Yeah, and um, we've got basically in front of us here, I've got 22 units? 22 men. 22 men. Two units, yeah. a hero and a druid. Yes, yeah, so yeah, two, yeah. two units of 10, uh, armed with javelins and one just sword and board. Yeah. Uh, a druid and my hero. Um, which comes to 490-ish points yeah. in game terms. And on my side, we've got my uh, 12 Roman legionaries plus two uh, Roman heroes. Um, and that's, again, around about 490 points. Yeah. So big difference in numbers. Uh, numbers, you're, you almost um, outnumber me two to one. Yeah. Um, but clearly that's not a disadvantage because... I whooped you not so long ago. Yeah, um, before I... <laughs> so, um, the thing with this is it's a campaign, it's a skirmish, so our heroes, so I've got my chap here, they have talent trees um, which affect how they play and how the game plays. Uh, and you get to choose the complete outfitting of your characters, your men in the battle. Um, so I've opted for a little bit of range, um, not much armour, heavy movement, druid, which boosts my, my team's morale. And an insane warrior who, once he takes damage, I lose control of. He just attacks everything. <laughs> um, so I'm thematically playing a bloodthirsty little clan of, of uh, warriors. And my guys are, are the complete opposite. Uh, so they're heavily armoured, um, armed well, well-trained soldiers. Yeah. Not just raving lunatics. Yeah. Um, and led by two Roman heroes, so, so two generals of, of Rome. Um, in my uh, Varinus and Pulo, you may know those names from said popular uh, <laughs> HBO series. Um, and my guys, yeah, my guys are just good at grouping together uh, and duking it out. They can weather a storm, as it were. They can. So that's it, basically. We are playing a head to head battle. Pitch battle, a border invasion from the, um, the Core Rule book. So just smashing into the middle of the battlefield. Yeah, a bit of a skirmish going on. I've been maybe caught on the hop by some raving. Um, Celts as they live off the land and yeah. sleep rough. And that will just give us the chance to show you some of the basic fight mechanics because they're quite entertaining um, and some of the basic sort of skills that the warriors have rather than going into the full depth of the campaign. Yes. Campaign yeah. And apologies if we get anything wrong slash I get anything wrong because uh, it is brand new and we're just getting used to it now. Yeah. So if um, you yeah if you like it, it is on pre-order at Goblin and at Warlord, um, so you can pick it up from either retailer. And uh, these units are, yeah, like you said, the ones this is pretty much the starter the set. Yeah, yeah. So, come, should we get stuck in? Yeah, cool. That's right. right. So, so we roll some play. dice. <laughs> so, I'm going to make the dice count slightly larger. So, in so this pass in front of here. scenario, uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. you are rolling off to see. We are rolling off to see who sets up first, followed by who gets to. Uh, Go first. So I've got a five. I'm going to put the dice cam about there, so just be mindful of your face, Charlie. Yeah, no worries. You don't want to, to hurt, don't want to hurt yourself. <laughs> and you're rolling now to see if you place first. So what did you get? You got five? Five. I got two. two. So you're going to be placing first. Uh, so it's basically six inches in, six inches from the side, so a little letterbox at the edge of your yeah. board. Which we've already pre-measured is to fit this kind yeah. of area. Yeah. And, uh, 
I need those guidelines. So I'm going to put my um, melee troop, which I've attached my warband leader to, over here. So by having my warband leader attached to it, it means that he can kind of take advantage of the bonuses that the druid, who is also attached to it, conveys. Yeah. So my druid is a very expensive character. I could have another group of 10 men if I wanted to. But by having the druid in my party, who costs me 75 points, or denarii, and a normal unit costs 9, the normal infantry mm -hmm. man, man yeah. costs 9, um, but by having a druid, I have the ability for that entire group to re-roll every missed hit that they have in melee. And also, he gives me the ability to nominate one of Charlie's heroes and take a stat away. So, I, Charlie, nominate your dude with two attacks <laughs> who does way too much damage <laughs> to lose a dice. Ouch. Well done. Yeah, no, good move. Good move. Now, I believe you thought in that last game you might put your horn into your javelin squad. Do you want to yes. do that? So, so yes. swap a guy out um, from the javelin squad. Who's going to be the dude carrying the head? Because he's... Uh, His song's javelin. Yeah, wherever he is. Is he? Um, I, I could take that from him. That's your standard, yeah. So the guy with the horn, this yeah. really cool miniature here, um, he allows me to make this unit have an immediate second... Third. Third, third action. action which Only we, once per game. Once per game, yeah. Can have that third action. Right, come on, let's get stuck in. So we're now rolling to see who goes first. Yes. So highest results, highest dash roll goes first. Six. Two. Two. Yeah. So uh, it's going to be me. It is. Um, and we are going to advance. So I've only got a five inch move because I've got my own chain mail, so I've slowed myself down a bit. Um, but uh, you're far enough away for me to get a good ten inches up the board, I think. Uh, so each unit gets to make two actions. Uh, so I'm making two move actions uh, of five inches apiece to bring my full unit who are, because they're in base-to-base -base contact, um, as Caesarean Roman legionaries, they benefit from the shield wall special rule, uh, meaning they get an extra parry in combat. Not that they need it, because they already get three, <coughs> but it looks cool when they're all bunched up together, it so I'm going with that. It does, it does. And then I'm going to move my two heroes, uh, and they're going to join this unit, so um, one on one side and one on the other. And that's me done. It is. So now to you. We very handily have the rules that we need to know just sort of noted down on our phones. What, what have you forgot? All of the rules. <laughs> I'm also just going to make sure that everyone can view what we're doing. Um, so that's your first move. Now, my guys have a move of six because they're not carrying as much armor as Charlie's. Indeed. So they can move slightly further. Um, but there's no way that I'm going to get into range with you straight up. So I'm going to just have to go six. And then six again just to move up. So I'm going to move my whole troop just up here. Yeah. Just to where behind my finger. These guys can slide along behind. Yeah. Pushing him forwards. That's always the tactic there. Um, yeah. And my... He's <laughs> always stealing an inch where he can get it. Yeah. Just life gives you... An Watch him place this model past his finger, of course. <laughs> Honestly. And then my war band are going to move up this way. Cool. There we go. Cool. So, so that's the end of the turn. That is. So that gets us straight into rolling the dice of fate. So in every subsequent turn, take a we huh? both roll a dice. The highest dice gets to choose who goes first and who goes second. Yeah. So this is a really interesting mechanic because if I choose to go second this round, but then get to go first next round, I essentially get two goes in a row. Yes. Yeah. Charlie's rolled a four, which is going to be quite hard for me to beat. Because I got a three. It is. So Charlie now gets to decide. What did I do last time? I let you come on, come at me, didn't I? Yes. <laughs> that was close. That was close. <laughs> um, I let you go first yeah. and charge me last time. And that kind of worked for yeah. me. Um, but I'm, I'm nervous about letting it happen again, if I'm honest. How close have you got to me? Uh, I can't get to you because... So your move is only five and then five. Yes. So whether you charge or not, 
Yes, you could use your horn to get an additional one. But I would only get one melee attack then. And whichever group you close in on, the other one is going to close in on you. I know, yeah, they're close, Which is they? the advantage of having two lots of units versus Charlie's one small elite troop. You know what I'm going to do then? I'm going to regret moving as far forward as I did. Hello to our viewers. We've got a couple of people watching. And uh, yeah, as so, so, so everybody chins in, Charlie's going to retreat five inches. But you know, I'm going to go. I'm going to go back this way because I want to get away from those guys. Yeah. And I don't want to let them. So you're on fire. You're retreating. And charge. I'm retreating already. Charlie's right? like, I haven't got long to play this game. We've got to get this one done quickly today. Now he's running away. <laughs> <laughs> it's a tactical move. Okay. I'm not running away. We're just repositioning somewhere that's. You know, a little bit more advantageous to me, and less advantageous to you. Now I wish I had my horn on these guys. Yeah, well, you know, you, you live, you live and learn. So you move back, and you're turtling up. Is that your yes. move? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Charlie's army, the Caesarian Romans, when their warband is of a certain size, or at least yeah. that unit is of a certain size of men, yeah, they can use certain abilities. In this case. Shield wall shield and works. testudo, which is basically shove those shields out in the front and above, so when you start throwing javelins at me, yeah. I can uh, re-roll my armor saves. It does make him move much more slowly. It does. But it makes half it my move. move. Hence so, the reason I moved first and then did it. Yeah. So now I'm going to check if I'm if I can get within 16 inches of Charlie's troop, which I can, which means I can move six and then start throwing javelins. Yeah. At so. Even though he's shield walling up, I'm still going to start hailing javelins on him. Yeah. By moving my group six to here. Oh, I just remembered you've got the horn. And I've now. got the horn. <laughs> so forgive the hasty moving of models. This is going to be a hail of uh, javelins now, isn't it? Yeah. So my guys, javelins are one shot. You yeah. You can only use them once. But yes, you buy more of them. So yeah. I bought two yes. per troop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, they're very, very dangerous if they hit. They are. It's a lethal two, which means it negates two points of my armor. I have a plus three armor, so it does make me a little bit more squidgy. Hello to our viewers. Um, right, so I only get one dice for a javelin. Yeah, one dice per guy, so you've got ten guys. Plus one. Oh, no, because I evened it out, didn't I? So it is ten. I didn't give them an apple by adding the horn in. No. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Wait, I added that up wrong. Eight, nine. That's ten, right? Yeah, that's ten. Thank you. Eventually. <laughs> And these will hit on fives, fives and sixes. Fives and sixes, because they're on the plus one range. Yeah. yeah, so plus one range, fives and sixes. So very quickly, the what I really like with the rules here, incredibly simple. Everything to succeed needs a six. Yeah. Your stat line on your character tells you whether you get plus one, plus, plus two, two, plus, plus three. three. So mine have got plus one, so I don't need a six anymore. I need a five, five or a six. Yeah, well, five or six. Uh, if it was plus two, I'd need four, five, six. So it's actually really simple. So it I need is, yeah, that's straight fives fast. and sixes to hit you. Yeah. And that's a lot of hits. Wow! <laughs> so three, three misses. But because I've got my shields, yep. I've got those parries, so yep. you have to re-roll. You can't re-roll or re-roll. So albeit I have about 30 parries on these guys, yep. I'm only going to use as many as you've got dice there. So I have to re-roll yep. these. All of those, looking yep. for fives and sixes again. Yeah. So There's you no know. way you'll roll them in five. Oh, one sixes. stuck to my hand. <laughs> that's, how, uh, that's how warm it is. Three. <laughs> So I'm going to make three armor saves. Yep. So three armor saves. Normally on a three, four, five, or six, because I've got chainmail. Yep. Um, but because you've got lethal two, that makes it a five or a six. So I knock two of those off. Two of those off. Yeah. Um, but I do get to reroll because I'm currently in a testudo. Ooh. So uh, I don't need, need to reroll any of them. But before that turn finishes, <laughs> the horn blows. The the yeah. Okay. So another ten yeah. dice. So my so yeah. six. Seven, eight, nine, ten. So my dude here has the used his ability to allow me to throw all of my javelins again. Yeah. So this is your last javelins in this yeah. squad, isn't it? So I will have no javelins left. Yeah. Afterwards. They've still got swords and shields. Yeah, but, which they yeah. will use. Of course. <laughs> so fives and sixes again? Yep. Yep. Uh, not as good. Three. And I will force those re-rolls. So yeah, I think I'm is. safe here. I think I'm safe. Cool. Richard McPherson says, yay! <laughs> so, fives and sixes. Oh, we've Just still got one, one in. So, uh, five and six on the armor save. One. I get to re-roll it because one. of the testudo. Three. Uh, it's a three. It was out of the trailer. Did I not re-roll that? <laughs> I'm <laughs> joking, though. That's I wouldn't would let me. <laughs> uh, okay, so that's one guy gone. That one so, that was worth it. it. You know, and I've only got 14 guys. I've now only yeah. got 13 guys. Yeah. So, you know, getting rid of one cesarean... 
Roman soldier yeah. is still good. So I use three actions from my group of uh, javelin throwers yeah. to take out one of your dudes. Indeed, yes. So now you've still got your other guys to go. I do. And they can move six up to here. Yeah. Now. They're not. Yeah, no, they're, they're Wait, with him. they can. And they will. Because of your warlord. So I'll let you yeah. do this and I'll explain what's happened. So, so Rich has given his warlord talents that just make him a beast in combat. <laughs> Not just in combat, but getting into combat. So the talent tree he chose was all about bloodlust. Hammer and anvil? Hammer of the anvil, I yeah. think, or hammer on the anvil. Anyway, uh, what, it, what the first one allows him to do is, make, is double his move for a charge. So normally his charge would be six inches. It's now 12. Mm -hmm. So he's move, used one action to move a normal six. Yep. He's now within 12 inches for his second action, meaning he can make the charge. So I will make the charge with this group of people yeah. onto Charlie's War Run. Yeah. That gives everyone an additional dice when they get into combat. Yeah. So normally they would have two dice each for swords and shields. Yeah. They now get an additional dice for every person in that group. Yes. So you want to work that out. So you should so, have 12 guys. So you want 12. Let's do 12 whites. Yep. So these are the bonus Four, dice. 8, 12. There your bonus. One for your warlord. Yep. And one for the druid. Yep. Because the druid has a lower hit. Yep. The warlord has the same. So same as the other guy. So you can leave that in there. So and then... then Actually, let's keep separate because we'll do the warlord separate. It's always interesting to yeah. do the warlord. Does the warlord separate. get two dice? Before, he's got two dice anyway, yeah. So he has two. Yeah. Think and then got you've got, got that last game. two, four, six, <laughs> eight, ten. Have you got another ten? Yeah. So I've got two, four, six, eight, nine. Nine, ten. So that's your normal guys. Yeah. So my normal, normal warriors, fix. they've got basically 30 dice. Your Celtic warriors? My Celtic warriors are, are swinging 30 times. Yeah, now because they charged, they've got yeah. lethal. So what lethal does, as we've said before, same as the javelins, the lethal yeah. one rather than lethal two, yeah. you're going to knock my armor down by one. Yeah. So instead of me getting plus three, I'm going to get plus two. Because so. of the charge. Yeah. yeah. Throw those dice. Yeah. Alistair is interested in this. So these are my normal guys. So I'm hitting you on what? Four, five, and six. Four, five, and six, because they're plus two, yeah. So that's what we're going to do. Is and gonna, I've got my druid. We're going to pull the misses out because you're going to re-roll those. Yeah. So we're pulling out all the ones, the twos, and the threes. That yeah. was a hit. There's one. Did you not have one? No, that was one more, I think. Oh, okay. And there's a three. Uh, so all of those were hits, which is a whopping amount of hits. Yeah. I then re-roll all re -roll the misses. Re-roll because your druid gives you a re-roll on misses. Yeah. So the druid, very expensive, costs as much as ten guys. <laughs> But allows me to re-roll every miss. Every miss, which is great. Which is fantastic, because I've just rolled a lot of hits. You have, yeah. So but what I'm going to do is yeah. I have lots of parries. Um, because we're shield walled, and because we've got, we've basically got four parries per man. So I only missed, wow. So there's 13 guys there. Yeah. Um, I have about 50 odd parries. Yep. So enough to deal with those dice. Yeah. Um, so you're still looking for four, fives, and sixes. I'll pick them all up. There we go. So again, Charlie parries everything because he's got swords and tower shields, so it yeah. just means I roll that hand again. And still pretty significant hits on the four, fives, and sixes. So now you don't get to parry again. He's just going to have to deal with the hits yes. that I've laid on him. Now. Yeah, Sorry. I think you rolled some extra dice. I think you picked up your hero's dice, by the way. Uh, no, they're here. What about your druid's dice? I threw his in, so oh, okay. uh, the yeah, druid shouldn't fine. have been in there, really. Oh, you've been pulling out the... Hits, I've yeah. pulled out the misses. <laughs> <laughs> I pulled out all the hits. Okay, so that, so that was the hits, yeah. yeah. So that's what you've got to deal with. My armour, normally a 4, 5 or a 6, is now a... If you're liking this game, if you're enjoying seeing the skirmish game, give us a couple of thumbs up or hearts just so we know. Otherwise, we're just talking to ourselves. And also, it floats up the screen. It's really pretty. <laughs> um, so my saves are on a 3, 4, 5, or a 6 normally, because I've got plus 3 armor. They are. I'm lethal 1. You're lethal 1, so they're now down to 4, 5s, or 6s. Yeah. So I have passed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I've taken 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 wounds, Rich. Wow. From that charge. So you are going to lose six units. Six guys. Six yeah. guys. Stop calling them units. Six models. guys. Six That's models. a unit. However, before Charlie use, loses those, yeah. 
They swing back. They swing back. So and now I get hit. I left less dice because I haven't charged and I haven't got the wild charge that you do. So um, for each legionary, which is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, I've got two dice, so that's going to be twenty-two. Mm -hmm. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 20, 22, but you know what, before we do that, we're getting a bit ahead of ourselves, you haven't rolled your hero's dice yet. Oh, I haven't, have I? No. no. So, at the moment, he's just got four dice. He should have three. One for the extra charge, one for the charge. Oh, wait, he two. gets four anyway, doesn't he? Because I gave him two extra dice. He so does, yeah, so you should get five dice. Five dice, yeah. yeah. So, I spent my points on my hero when creating him on giving him extra dice he rather than extra damage. Yeah. Because I felt the synergy with the druid giving me rerolls and his ability when it triggers yeah. were quite entertaining. So you should be rolling five dice total. Yes. One, two, three, four, four six. What? Where'd that one come from? Yeah. <laughs> I think we mixed up some of the dice before. But you know, let's, let's go for it. It's um, going to be negligible, the difference. He gets rerolls so. and he hits on four, five, and six. He does, yes. Yeah. So I reroll the miss. Yeah. Everything else hit. What's for you to deal with? No, it's going to be you to parry. That's a four, so every one of mine is hit. Parry first. But Charlie makes me parry, so yes. I have to go again. Please miss them all. Oh! Oh, two. Two of them. So you still got to deal with two. It's just a lethal one, so again, it's just four, fives, and sixes from me. Yep. And I just lose one more guy. So you've lost seven, seven guys people there, from yeah. his troop of 12. Indeed. On, on that charge. Which is not great. So yeah. that means I'll have to make a bravery test at the end of this turn, because I've lost over half the unit. Um, but I do get to hit you back. You do. So that's with 22 dice for my legionaries. <laughs> I get two more for my one hero, but yeah. the other hero, my punchy hero, we're all separately because yeah. he's a bit handier in combat. So I'm needing four, fives, and sixes. Oh, not a lot. And I still get to make Charlie's parries, parries yeah. because the large shields and the swords total to three parries in combat. They do. So yeah. I have. 12 people, one of which doesn't have anything, so he doesn't count. 11 people with three parries. Yeah, which is enough to parry these guys. So, uh, four, fives, and sixes again. Uh, miss, 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 miss. Still a good amount. Yeah. I can live with that. Um, okay. You're rolling those. Now, Rich has got a, a bit of different armor in his squad. So, his hero is on chainmail. Um, whereas his normal guys are on just leather armor, Big so up Charlie. plus one for the leather armor <laughs> and plus three for the chainmail. Yeah. But uh, and I've got no lethal, yeah. so your hero's going to save on a three, four, five, or a six. Okay. So you can allocate some wounds to some so attacks I need, to him. I need to make my hero try. So yeah. he's going to do at least two. Two. Okay. So three, four, five, and six. Yeah. He saves them both. He saves them both. That's slightly annoying. Can and I make him take more? Five or six is on the other guy. Fives and six is on the other guy. Yes. Yeah. Uh, one or oh, one. one. So should have given more to my hero. You should have. Well, um, so you're right. Yeah. How many guys died? Five. Five. Potentially five. Or more, because Pulo gets to go next. He only gets one dice that Oh, you though. stole a dice off me, didn't you? I feel like that. <laughs> so Pulo is hitting on a two, three, four, five, or six. So only a one is a, a miss for Pulo. <laughs> and he misses. And do I get any rerolls? Uh, I don't think I do. do I? Yeah. <laughs> you put too much fear into so and so. Right, yeah, you did. So, um, you lost four. Yep. Uh, sorry, you lost five. I've yeah. lost seven. So, um, I'm definitely in a bit of trouble here. I'm going to have to make a bravery check. You are. So I'm taking two, three. Four, five. You killed my dude with the fifth, the, the kingfish on his hand. Six, seven. So I've lost seven, which means I'm going to have to make a bravery check. There's a spear. Fortunately, um, Varinus has plus four uh, morale, yep. so he's going to be saving on a two up. Okay. He does. Um, so we're not going anywhere. We're fine. I'm still um, fine because I've still got more than half of my unit. That's yeah. Single unit there. Yes, because you've got the hero yeah. and the druid in there, and that ends that turn. Correct. Yes. Bye bye. You charged me. And it yes, was I your, did. Was it you to go? No, no, because no, I moved to high. You ran so away. I'm yeah, so that's the end of the turn. We're then going to um, turn three. Yeah. Roll the dice of fate. Okay. That's three for me. Mm. Two. two. So you know what? I'm going to go first. I thought you might. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go first. 
I am, yeah. I'm going to go first. So these guys are just going to pile in for the melee. And we're we, going to make you, You're attack. getting accused of not working. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a... Uh, if he's got the embroidered top on, it's yeah, work. It's work, it's work. <laughs> two, so how many guys have we got left? Uh, one, two, three, four legionaries. So yep. two, four, six, eight. Two for Varenus. Uh, looking for four, fives, and sixes. Yeah, we can still see these guys on camera, can't we? Yeah. I think so. I think so. I could be wrong. Yeah. The important thing is you can see what's going on. Well, the dice is always <laughs> yeah. going to be So four, fives, and sixes. So missing with yeah. the one, the threes. Oh, there is. I'm yeah. just. Because uh, I know the dice can will continue to be in. Give it a little bit more of an angle. Okay, so parries. You have any parries? You've got plenty of parries. I've got loads of parries. Oh, oh and only one hit goes through. Uh, which you'll have to make an armor save on, but I'm going to go Pulo next. Okay, well, He's I'm going to roll on. with my... Well, hang on, Pulo. Oh, yeah. And he's on the... Yeah, so he hits, and he hits. So he definitely hits. His goes through. Yeah. He's on lethal two. two yeah. So he gets rid of two of your armor. So on your hero, it's a five or a six. Yeah. Um, on your other guys, it's a straight up six. So I... Well, I've only got two wounds on my hero, yeah. but he gets one when he takes those wounds. When he goes into bloodlust. So yeah. I'm going to roll against Pulos. For the hero. Because it's fives and fives sixes. Fives and sixes, yeah. Right. Three. So Three. he's got one wound left, but he's now enraged. He's now enraged. He would take two yeah. wounds, but gains a wound because of his yeah. talent. And now the rest of my dudes is fives and sixes as yeah. well? Uh, yes, fives and sixes, yeah. Four. So four I lose one dude. Uh, but he's not gone until the end of the combat. So now I hit the here. Yeah. And I'm enraged. And now, unfortunately, <laughs> your hero is enraged. So my hero now goes from four dice to eight. To eight dice. Should we do him first? Let's. Yeah. <laughs> Which he can also re-roll. Eight because of your stinky druid. Yeah. Oh, so he, he needs those re-rolls. He does. Yeah. He's only hit on those. So he hits on two. Yeah. Which I'm going to parry, but let's get the rest of them done first. That's a bit better. And that is still, still two out of there. But so that's all of his original dice. I'll make you re-roll those. Yep. So four, four, five, five and sixes, sixes again. So you should come out with two. Or you do. Ten, yeah. yeah. So he's hit come twice. On. So he's hit twice, but then you've got the rest of the guys to go. One, so two, 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 four, six, eight, ten. Yep. Plus one for your druid. So eleven dice. Eleven dice, but the druid's a bit weaker. So roll the druids. Five, six, seven, seven yeah. Eight, nine, ten, and then the druid can be white. Yeah, he needs a six, what? doesn't he? Five and six or five and six, yeah. And they're four, five and six. Yeah. Yeah. So the druid misses, but he gets a reroll. Hit. Oh, lots of hits. Yeah. Ouch. Those have hit. Those have hit. If Carl is watching this, I think it was Carl Connolly. He's going to be <laughs> laughing his <laughs> for off. Uh, another hit. Another hit. So the druid misses, and that did. Ouch. So you've got to deal ouch. with. Did you reroll these? Oh, oh, yeah, I've got a parries. So parries. I was going to say. <laughs> <laughs> so you got to deal with those. Ah, that's much better. Three, four. One, two, three, and four. Deal with that. Okay, uh, so I'm back up to my full armor now. Yeah. Three, four, five, and six, because you're not on the charge. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and I fail three of them. Three oh, of your dear. guys on the return go down. Yeah, so... so that's going to be another bravery check for me, yeah. and it's going to have to be... Oh, no. I'm going to take a wound on um, Pulo. Oh. oh, no, Verena, sorry. Okay. Um, so a wound on there, two guys gone. Yeah. Uh, you lose a guy. I'm going to give you that one. That's closest to me. Yeah. Um, and I've got a second action to make. You do. So I'm going to go for another round of combat. We're going yeah. to see this out. And this one, you can do repeated rounds of combat. Yeah. yeah. Not like other games. Well, you can't. I could if I wanted to. I could issue a challenge to your hero and pull him out of the unit. Okay. And we fight separately. <laughs> we'll cover that. We're going to play this again. We'll cover that in a future game. You really want to take on all eight of his dice on one Well, <laughs> it means I can allocate my wounds to him yeah. so I can make him fight Pulo. If yes, I to. a hero and a hero can grab on. And they the continuously hero. fight until one of them's dead. Right. Regardless of how many actions you've got to make. Yep. So it is literally a fight to the death. Does my blood craze stack? Because every time, <laughs> it says when I see someone die, I gain a wound. I, I hope not. No, because they we would get never a rules die. Check? Yeah. Your colleagues are watching, right? Can we get a rules check on that? Yeah, I don't think they're going to... Uh, I don't think they're gonna, well, they probably will agree with you regardless of what the, the rule is. Anyway, so another round of combat. I've got three normal guys, which is going to be six dice. Looking for four, fives, and sixes. I get two. 
which you're going to make me re-roll because of the parry. Come on, fives and sixes. Two and two. <laughs> Nothing. Pulo rolls a single dice. Two. A two. He gets a hit on a two. He hits. Um, Do I make him parry? Ah, that was the parry. Oh, so okay. I re-rolled the, the, the hit. Right. And this his, his is two, isn't it? He does two. Yes. So he's fives and sixes. It's going to have to go on my dudes. But it'll kill him outright if he dies. It's going to go on my dudes, not my head. Like a normal dude. Yeah. So six is to, to, to... Six? Oh, no. Yes. I'll take that. Ouch. Ouch. Now I return. <laughs> yeah, so the, all the gloating that I did. <laughs> did I not... I'm so I glad I took the dice there. away from you. <laughs> right, okay. Um. Yeah, it's your return dice. Oh. Six. We're doing the hero first. Oh wait, okay. I have two, four, six, eight. Eight. So two, four, six, eight, and one for the druid. Hero is eight dice. Three, four, four. Okay. Very up to you. You can do the hero first or the dudes first. What should we do? Oh, there's there's quite a few people watching me fail these rolls now. Then. Let's go. Hero first. Hero first. Four, five, five and six sixes. Is... <sighs> Wow. And I've only got to re-roll two, two of, these. of them. Yeah. And then you'll parry them. Yeah. So that's fine. So parry six. How many parries have you got there in total? Um, three, six, nine, twelve. Wow, so you've got six parries left after this. Yeah, let's make a note of that then. Yeah. But that did you well because only two went well. through. So six parries left. And, and you've got four, fives, and sixes, and then five and six on the way. Yes. Oh. Oh no! What? <laughs> they all hit. I said you have to one. <laughs> right. How many parries have we got left? Six. Six. Um. So one on the druid. Yeah. And then two, four, uh, five. Does my druid let me reroll so the parry misses now? No. <laughs> they. Oh, you're there with the hero. Yeah. Oh man, I'm dead. Four, fives, and sixes. Five and six on the white. White hits. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Three, four, five, and six. Wow. I will point out that I forgot to make a bravery check last round as That's well. Right. Um, but it's only two plus with a reroll, so you probably probably would have. I made should it. have made it. So um, you've gone to defend against all of these. On four, five, and six. Uh, three, four, five, and six. Wow. Um. So one, two, and three, four. No, three. Sorry. <laughs> um. So three guys gone. Mm -hmm. Uh. Three wounds. So it's going to be these two. I was hoping to be able to use my horn, but I'm not going to get a chance. No, he's dead. Uh, and one on Pulo. So these are going to wound each. So you've literally just got your heroes now. Yeah. And I was going to use the horn, but he's dead. And it's my go. And so, it is your go now. I'm making a bravery check because yeah. I'm down to my two heroes. Um, six. six. It's a pass. If these guys charge in, do they join the combat? Um, they, uh, they start another combat. With everybody. With well, just with the two guys. To be fair, would they not join this group? The two heroes are no longer They're a dangerous. unit, right. so you could, if you wanted to, just ju charge Pulo. Okay. Which would make sense. So he'll be he'll die from ten men. Would so if if I was to charge these guys onto this, I couldn't also cause them to group up onto two. No, these guys would then charge. Okay. The I mean, look, they've got a wound each. Yeah. The sensible thing to do is split your attacks next. Okay. Well, I'm gonna put all ten. And this is just going to be one, though, isn't it? Because they're yeah. outside of six inches. That's true. So one move and then charge. Yeah. So you're only going to get one. I'll be kind to you. They are going to pile up. Oh, yeah, so kind. Them. So kind. <laughs> so because they charge, they get an additional 10 dice, right? Uh, they get additional, yes, one for each guy. So they're all at 30 dice. 30 dice. Because there's still 10 dice. guys here, isn't there? Five, six. I'll so get 10 out for you. 10. Thank you. Two, four, six, eight. Yeah, there we go. Right. Looking for four, fives, and sixes. All 30 dice. Four, fives, and sixes. No rerolls no re because you drew it. There's still quite oh, a few. Me. Right, so let's pull the, the losses out. One, two. Okay. Go for the successes. Okay. Three, four. There's a lot of successes. Yeah, there's three more in there. There you go. Yeah, cool. So these are the misses. Um, re-roll. Oh, you can I'm parry not, three. Of them. I can parry three. Yeah, I'll parry three. <laughs> One of them got knocked away. Uh, power Enjoy. saves. Three, four, five, or a six. I just need to see where yeah, he's <laughs> gone. Yeah. He's dead. Right, okay, so he gets the hit back with his one dice. He does. Uh, on a two up, <laughs> he goes down. He was outnumbered, overwhelmed. He just got dog filed, He's been he? obliterated. And then my other guys, because they haven't actually done anything yet. No, so they'll bundle in for a chat, well, for an attack, for a melee. 
Um, so does that count as a charge? <laughs> oh, I mean, you, yeah, you can because you can move yeah. three inches out okay. and then three <laughs> inches back in. Right. But we're not going to mess about with that because do you know what we'll do? Instead of doing that, my warrior, my my leader, yeah, could always call you out into single combat. You wouldn't get your reroll. I wouldn't. Would I? Fine, let's just pile on. Just get it stuck in. Yeah. So start with the hero who's on. Let's do the white dice with the hero, shall we? Um, six dice for the hero. Yep. And then you're gonna have two, four, six, eight red dice. Okay. Two, four, six, eight. Do they get extra because of the charge too? No, you're not charging. Oh, okay. Step back with oh, No, that's them. ridiculous. I think they would have kind of been locked. <laughs> so four, fives, and sixes. Four, fives, and sixes. Have I got one for the druid? Um, you will have one for the druid, but let's do that separately because yeah. Right. So you've got your re rolls though. So. so you might re-roll those. Yeah. Oh, my hero missed a lot. Good job he gets to try again. Uh, he still missed quite a lot. There you go. Yeah. Druid, five and six. Your hero is ultimately the same, Druid isn't he? So he gets to re-roll them. He, he hits. <laughs> um, Which three would you like to parry? All oh, right, yeah, parry. <laughs> so, the hero. Uh, it doesn't really matter, does it? No, really, it wants to be one for the druid, so let's go more likely to miss. And then three for the other guys. Because the, the hero has the You get four parents. Uh, three. Sorry. I'm cheating. I'm really, really being harsh to you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I mean, three, fours, fives, and sixes. Uh, oh, wow. I take enough to go down, which is two wounds. Yeah. Um, but Varinus, uh, oh, to be sorry. fair, he does get a chance to go back. Oh really? He yeah. Bounce back. Because he's got he hasn't attacked yet, so he's got two attacks. Um uh, hitting on a four, five, or a six, so that one misses. You've got parries. Uh any one. misses. And hey. unfortunately Varinus goes down and uh, wow. Yeah. That was a bit worse for me than it was last time. Absolute <laughs> massacre. That was. Well, look, if you enjoyed it, let us know in the comments. Yeah. Hopefully you did. It gives you a flavour of how brutal this game can be. Yeah. Um, that's over in how long, Rich? That was less than about 20 minutes. Yeah, so it's a very fast game. That was about 500 points, which is uh, what you tend to start your games out at. Uh, it's very scalable. You could easily double what we've got each yeah. um, and have another scrap. Well, exactly. You take away the druid, I've had another 10 people, but I wouldn't have the rerolls. So yeah. I've, we've, we've but at another 500 yes. points, you could have chucked another druid in there and another 20 yeah. guys. This will be very interesting as these get bigger. Yeah. So yeah. we're going to play some more games with these guys, which we're going to film. We're going to develop our warband. I'm going to put a video out very soon on how we came to put these together and yeah. how and why we chose them. Um, and just as a final, before we sign off, have you got those new sculpt ones? Uh, no, so these are the original sculpts, yep. but the ones that were going to be coming out. If um, you get the SPQR box set that is up for pre-order, my... Celtic chieftain there. Obviously, I'm not the best painter. Hey, good job, though. He's, he's good. Prancing through his field of lavender. Um, I should probably hold that lower because I realise I'm holding that behind the... Uh, <laughs> the, <laughs> the, the dice gun. Oh, the, the joys of doing it live. Um, is one of the very new, very nice special units that you'll get to lead your goals. Yeah. Um, or your Celts. Uh, yeah, so hope you enjoyed that little sneak peek at the game. We're going to be doing a lot more with this. Uh, it is available for pre-order through Warlord or through Goblin. It's really warm. It's here. very warm. Yeah. So we're gonna strip off, sweat it out, and yeah. probably have another game. <laughs> Not until I press the button. <laughs> yeah. Quick. Where's the stop? Thanks button? very much. The stop button. Take care, guys. Yeah. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Yeah. The uh, walk end live video. Bye, everybody.